Hi everyone, welcome back to another devlog about my space style city builder game. This month's progress was a little different from others. For starters, I realized the game needed a lot of improvements. It was buggy and had a lot of slapped together code. This gave me an idea. I thought it would be fun to try and rebuild the whole game in a couple of days. So that's what I kinda did. One of the main differences with the new version is that the world tile map was not going to handle building anymore. Basically, what I mean is that there won't be one tile map handling everything anymore. Instead, it's going to be split up into different layers for different things. For example, there is now a tile map for building, a tile map for future NPC navigation, one for the world, and others. But I won't bore you too much with the details. Also, I removed the ugly random color generator for the world, as it now looks a lot better without it. But there was still a major problem, as even with cleaner code, there were still a lot of the same annoying bugs and crashes. However, I was going to look past that at the time and attempt a selector tool. But that didn't work for some reason either. What should have been super simple and placing corners became extremely annoying to create. So, I wanted to try something new, instead of having this be the end of my game's journey. That's where Unity takes over. As you probably already know, Unity is a great 2D and 3D game engine with a wide community built around it. But that wasn't the only reason either, as Unity also has been around for a while, which allows there to be more possibilities during development. That's not to say that Godot is a bad engine either. It's actually a rather good engine, it just doesn't fit the need of my game. However, personally I still really like Godot and I'm going to most likely use it in future game projects. Anyway, when starting Unity, I decided to use about a week to finish one of their courses during my free time. I found this cool Ruby's Adventure 2D Beginner project on Unity Learn and decided to go with that. The project lasted about 15 hours in its entirety, teaching you about everything from tile maps to more tile maps. No, but really though, it taught a lot of important things like how to use Unity, fundamentals to C Sharp, and other stuff like that. I ended up not finishing the project as I was super excited to start rebuilding the game so I kind of forgot about it. Although, what this project gave me was a super cool polished little game where you can run around and shoot robots to fix them. Recreating my game in Unity was super fun to do. I got started off by importing the assets from Godot into Unity and set up this super simple isometric tile map. Originally, the way building was set up, it called for four colliders for each room, and now Unity needs a rigid body for each one. If you don't understand what I mean, basically, it's a recipe for a lot of future lag and crashes. This was already becoming true as the game would freeze when you try to build the rooms. So, I needed a new solution. Godot has a pre-built feature called Auto Tile, where tiles automatically connect together without you having to place each one. While Unity does not have this directly, Unity has built a great 2D's extra add-on that includes this. In fact, Unity sets this up so well, when coding the placement of tiles for building in Unity, I used only 20 lines of code where in Godot it took around 100. But this also created a problem as room and hallway tiles weren't connecting together anymore. As this might be solvable with the ability to place doors, I realize this will most likely be a major problem when creating the AI later on. Sibling tiles were the perfect way to solve this, as these tiles allowed for other tiles in the same group to connect. Sibling tiles were just a custom rule tile designed in Unity's documentation. In this case, the tiles were going to be used for doors where room and hallway tiles connect. Another thing added was the ability to delete buildings instead of just building them. This was done the same way as building, just instead of adding a tile it would be removed. So that's basically how I recreated my game in Unity over the past month. Currently, I'm going to continue to use Unity as my main game engine instead of Godot. Here's why. Quick disclaimer though, this is not to say that any game engine is bad or that you should switch yours. This is just my personal opinion. Let's start off with my dislikes about using Unity over the past month. Coming from a smaller game engine like Godot, Unity felt very overwhelming at first. There were a lot of options and things everywhere, which made it really confusing, especially on where to get started and what to do. 
Of course, this feeling went away as I kept using the engine. Also, I think another downfall of Unity is its code editor. Since you have to use Microsoft Visual Studio, you have a bunch of extra stuff you don't need, but at the same point, you're limited on customization. I tried using Visual Studio Code in other programs, but some features that come with Unity only work in Visual Studio. For example, Unity's IntelliSense. However, over the past month, I have also found a lot of things I like about Unity. For starters, I found Unity to be very stable, with little to no random errors and crashes. Besides being a little overwhelming, Unity seemed to be set up a lot better. The UI was nicely organized and customizable. The tile maps I feel were also handled better, as in the past I found Godot's tile maps to be annoying to get working. Although, probably the number one reason I like Unity better is its component-based system. I just found this to be a lot better than Godot's node-based system. In the end, it comes down to what type of game engine you yourself enjoy the most. Personally, I like Unity better than Godot, but once again, that's just my opinion. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the progress I made over the past month, and the process of switching my game to Unity. If you did enjoy, consider subscribing as it will help out the channel a lot. See you next time.